Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel as always. So excuse my hair, I just took it out of a bun because it's wet, it needs to dry because whatever. Anyways, ignore all this. But in today's video, I am trying the Wishful, which is by Huda Beauty, the Chin Face Mask. So it's supposed to give you like a facelift. Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask. It retails for $9 and I've been seeing it everywhere. Got curious, decided to try it, and I also gave you guys a quick little tutorial on this eye look. Also using Huda, Huda Beauty products. I used her Mercury Retrograde, which such a pretty palette. But if you guys want to know how the chin mask worked, did it get rid of anything? Did it not? I don't know. Keep watching to find out. Also, like I said, I gave you guys a little tutorial on this eye look, so that will also be included in this video. So... All right, let's go. All right, so here is the mask itself. Um, it says it's gentle, si simple, effective, suitable for all skin types, dermatologist tested. Um, so the directions, uh, start with a clean, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so my face is already clean, dried, all that. I just pulled my hair back in a messy bun. So it's said to avoid discomfort during use, pre-stretch the, ma pre the mask lengthwise by tugging at each end. So, and then leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Let's give her a whirl. Been wanting to try this so badly because my face is so like fat and I hate it because my whole life I've always been trying to get rid of my double chin and it just it won't go away no matter how much I work out, no matter how healthy I am. So praying to the Lord that this works. So here's what it looks like inside. So here it is. It is wrapped in plastic. Ooh, it's like a nice like cloth feeling. I guess I'll pre-stretch it. Well, let's move, remove the plastic film. So let's do that first. And I'm assuming the shiny side is what goes on. Honestly, hold on. I need to see a photo. Is it supposed to go under? Okay, so here is a full on turn side profile of my chin. I don't have the most chiseled jaw, but one day we'll get there. All right, so I'm just going to pre stretch this. Oh my god, it's so sticky. It smells good, it just smells like, um, it's kind of like any other sheet mask. I'm assuming it goes more under. Okay, let's see. Oh, it is tight. Oh my god, it's so tight. <laughs> right, I mean, you guys can see it's pulling on my ears. It is very tight. It's not uncomfortable at all. Honestly, it feels nice. It feels like it's just literally giving me a facelift. So, so far, not bad. All right, it says to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on my eye makeup um, and I'll do a quick little tutorial and yeah, we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, so I already have my eyeshadow base on. So to start, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette and use the Pure White, which is Death Blow. Oh my god, it's crazy. I'm just gonna focus this just right in the inner corner. That's just gonna act as a nice little base for our glitter. Okay, once that's on, I'm going to dive into haze. And I'm just gonna use just a medium sized fluffy brush and focus this just right in the crease. Going to work on building the opacity. And then once I get it decently opaque i'll start kind of bringing it down but i don't want to lose this white area so i'm going to keep this very open then wiping that brush off and i'm going to, going to take the color momentum and this is just a really nice like nude color so it'll help this color kind of transition up basically just applying it like right over this green shadow then going back in with Haze, just kind of working on the bottom part here. Because so I always like to, again, pull my eyeshadow up and out, so it kind of comes to a point, like you can see over here. All right, so now dabbling into Mercury, a very pretty, like, sparkly deep blue. I'm going to start with a very small fluffy brush and focus this in the outer V right here, keeping it more at a slanted angle. And just using the small brush to kind of help just apply the color first, and then we'll go in with the larger one and blend it out. 
All right, and I'm taking <clears throat> just a slightly larger one, and I'm just literally just picking the color up and pulling it out. So I'm not adding any more just yet. So I want to see what I can pull out first, because sometimes if you go in and you add a color, it tends to get really dark, and sometimes like I'll see people, the eyeshadow will get stuck in one area. So that's why I like to very, very lightly build up the darkness. And instead of just touching, I always go in and swirl, and then when the brush touches the actual eyelid, it's still in a spinning motion. So I'm pretty much just going back and forth between the green color and the blue and just slowly again building up. Like right in here, it kind of dips down, so I'm building that up. So it creates more of like a straighter line on top. And then meeting the top of the green down with the blue to come together right here at a point and just kind of fade that off into nothing. All right, then I'm going to take my finger and use the color Galaxy. And it's just this, it's like a goldy, rose gold pink. I'm just going to very lightly just tap that on my brow bone just to add a little something something. And then also using my finger, I'm going into the color Supermoon. And I prefer to use my finger while using like pressed glitters just because a brush, it just doesn't. It's, it's like the glitter gets stuck in the bristles more than your actual eyelid. So with the warmth of your finger... You just kind of tap that on. All right, so we only have a little bit more time before the timer goes off, but really quickly, I'm just gonna go into ultraviolet and I'm going to pop this on the lower lash line. Not worrying about how clean it is because obviously we're gonna go in with concealer and clean it up. Then I am gonna go back in with a little bit of mercury, which was that dark bluish green color we used and put that on the outer just to kind of fuse the two together. All right, so I'm going to do my eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to use the Inglot 77 Gel Eyeliner. The black is black. Love it. I'm just going to do just my regular wing, which if you guys want an eyeliner tutorial, let me know. I will say I am making the wing itself just a little bit thicker because we are going to put little hearts on it. So you want to make sure that there is enough room. Okay, so for the glitter itself, I got these from the Third Eye Company, which are the colored contacts. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen them all over Instagram, but I'll put their handle, handle down below. God, I'm so sorry. It's so hard to talk with this thing on. I can feel it pulling. Um, but they sent me just a cute little sample of these little hearts, so I'm going to use those. And to adhere them, I'm just using the black duo glue. So inside the hearts, there are actual like, cutouts of hearts and then also just a whole one. So I'm going to do four cutouts and then two whole ones and just just kind of paint along my lash or my eyeliner this one does come with a brush too so it is very convenient and obviously like my eyelash band kind of covered some of it up but I tried to get it as close as possible to the lash line so I'm using these super super pointy sideways or tweezers I have really shaky hands, so I'm going to take a tiny little center of the heart and put that right there, push it up a little bit so the eyelash band doesn't cover, and then we'll go in with a regular heart, as you can see there, hopefully. Right in there. Be careful too not to get the tweezers stuck on the eyelash glue. I knew that was gonna happen. God dropped all my glitter. <laughs> oh my god, everything's falling apart. Catastrophe has struck. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. I just dropped all of them. Anyways. We'll put the last one right in there. Then we'll do one more full heart. We're back. I put on my eyelash. So it's finally time to take this off. Went over the 30 minute mark just a little bit. But all right. Let's see. Oh, it's very, like, very, very sticky. Oh my god, there's hearts all over my face. Does it look slimmer? 
actually, it does feel tighter. It feels very, very tight, but that's also because I had the compression on. But I don't know. Let me, let me take a look for myself because I know myself better than anybody. Let's see. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Babe, does my chin look thinner? Do I have a chiseled jawline? Look at me. Look at me from the side first. Okay, okay. I want to <laughs> say the chin looks more pointy. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you guys think, because I, I, I... Did you have fun? That's yes, I had fun until I spilled all of the stupid glitter, but... Honestly, I think it did slim it down a little bit. Yeah, because my face is pretty, like, down here. I call them my jowls. So, overall, I think it worked well, but I'm going to finish my face up and I'll be back with the final verdict. All right, and we are finally back. Excuse my hair, I just took it out of my bun because it, it, it just needs to air dry because I just got out of the shower. So anyways, excuse that. But here is the finished look. I did go ahead and contoured, and honestly, I think after contouring and finishing the rest of my face, like obviously this chin strap, um, it's not supposed to be long term. Um, I'm not actually sure how long the effects are supposed to last, but... It does seem like my, my chin's a little bit more slimmed down. Like I said, it could be placebo, but I honestly do think it did kind of do a little something. I think it's starting to wear off now, but that's okay. <laughs> and so for blush, I just used the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail in color Plumegranate. And then for my highlighter, I used the Too Faced Diamond Fire, which is like this really pretty iridescent blue color. And then for my lipstick, I wanted to try, I've never tried Huda Beauty's lipstick products, so this is just her metallic lipstick in After Party. And I will say, because I haven't worn like a cream lipstick in so long, so I'm so used to wearing like liquid lipsticks, this formula is so nice. It is so creamy, so just like buttery. It literally went on in one swipe and I was like, oh my god. And plus the color, I mean the color is just absolutely gorgeous. I love a good pink metallic, so... Anyways, here is the finished look and final verdict. Was it worth $9? Yeah, honestly, I'd buy it again. Um, it would be interesting to do it like a few times throughout the week. And also just to see if it would like do anything. Like I said, it's not going to do anything permanently. But just out of curiosity, I'd like to see it you know, over a course of a few weeks. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, all the products that I used by Huda today, no problem at all. The eyeshadows, I mean, if you've tried her products, her products speak for themselves. Um, her eyeshadow formulas are absolutely amazing. The metallics I kind of had a trouble with at first, but like I said, you kind of have to use your finger and just press it on and then goes on like butter. So overall, I do think it was a good product um, and it wasn't like super expensive. Like I said, I think it retails for $9 in the US. So thank you guys again for watching. As always, all of the products along with my social media will be down below in the description box. And until the next one, bye.